I'm Dr. John Iskander. Welcome to CDC Beyond the Data. Today I'm here with Dr. Marcus Plescia, Director of the Division of Cancer Prevention and Control at CDC. So Dr. Plescia, uh, for today's Grand Rounds about cancer screening, can you uh, begin by reminding our audience what cancer screenings are recommended and who they're recommended for? Yeah, sure. So there are three cancer screenings that we place the most focus on because we feel like there's very good evidence for them. Breast cancer screening and uh, for the most part in women age 40 to 75, colon cancer screening in all adults aged about 50 to 75, and then cervical cancer screening in uh, women, over the, women over the age of 21. So those, those are the core programs we're focusing on. Those are the programs that CDC actually uh, does work in. Okay, so uh, breast, uh, cervical, and uh, colon cancer. Yeah. So on a population-wide basis, how are we doing with those screenings and, and what are some of the what are some of the issues we need to address? Well, we're, we're doing all right. We, we do very well with cervical cancer screening. We have participation rates anywhere from 80 to 90 percent, depending on which data sources you look at. So that, I think that's been a big public health success. We're doing pretty well with breast cancer screening. Screening rates anywhere from 70 to 80 percent, again, depending on the data source you look at. And I think we could do a little bit better there, but we've made a lot of progress. Colon cancer screening, we're really not doing as well as we could be, and that's that. that those are such good tests uh, as as far as being able to find the disease early when we can do something about it. There, the rates for screening are, you know, uh, more than a third of the population not getting screened. So participation rates of somewhere around 60 percent. I think we we really could improve that sub substantially. Uh, is one of the main issues. Um health insurance or is it more complicated than that? Well, health insurance is a huge issue for people. I mean, if you don't have a way to pay for your care, it's, it's, that's a big barrier to being able to get it. And so we're, we're very, very enthusiastic with health reform and the implementation of the Affordable Care Act. We're, we're very enthusiastic that's going to make a difference. But, you know, I think it's important to realize that's not the only thing we have to pay attention to. There are a lot of other barriers. We know that among people who have, a, who have health insurance and, and have a usual source of care, uh, we know that a quarter of, of women still aren't uh, up to date with their mammograms. We know that about a third of people aren't getting colon cancer screen. Those are people with not just insurance but very good access. In the Medicare population, which has you know reasonably good health insurance through the Medicare program, you know there the rates are even even worse. We're seeing uh, you know a little more than two third, a little more than a third of women not up to to date with their mammography tests, and really only about a half of people on Medicare being up to date with colon cancer screening. So, you know, I think that the more widespread insurance is going to make a big difference, and we really want to ride that wave and just, and just push it a little further and look at some of the other things that are, are keeping people from um, participating in these tests as well. Okay. So beyond, uh, you know, better insurance and better access, um, what are some of the things that we can do uh, to, to, to raise screening rates and to prevent more cancers? I, I, I get the sense from what you're saying that, you know, trying harder, doing more of the same thing that we've been doing isn't the answer. So, so what are some of the solutions? That, that's correct. Uh, just, just trying harder. I, I think we need to try harder to be strategic about how we do it. So one of the things that we frequently say is that the most likely predictor of whether somebody gets a cancer screening test is if their medical provider recommends it. So I think that that's very important and we need to continue to work in practice settings and in the medical care setting to make sure we're looking at ways to get people prompted when they have contact with their with their medical provider system. But you know, that's that's not enough. We, we really need to look at ways to go directly to the public. I mean, that, that is public health's role. That's public health's job. We need to look at how do we go directly to the public and make sure that people, people understand and know or are empowered about what kind of care they need and, and what kind of cancer screenings they need. And I think that's where we can really get the rates up. So we need to work carefully with the medical provider system. We need to help providers look at ways to be more effective with this, but we need, we need to go beyond that as well and, and not just stop there. Thank you very much. Uh, please join us uh, next time for CDC Beyond the Data.